Hello and welcome to Peggy's Tropical Garden, coming to you from the Florida Keys with a short video on potting soil. Hi, I'm Peggy. Thanks for joining me. Good to see you. Um, today I'm out here doing some maintenance on my patio plants and some of the plants outside in my yard. My indoor plants, I was hovering so much, I'm going to kill them from overwatering and just being a hovering plant parent. So I decided it would be a good time for me to answer some of the questions you've asked me about soil. Now, I've gotten several questions as to what kind of potting mix I use, uh, what's my mixture, do I reuse soil that um, when I repot plants and things like that. So. Just figured I'm out here anyway. I'm working on this Alocasia Hilo, doing some much needed pruning. Isn't that a beautiful plant? But um, I purchased this last year and it's been in its grow pot ever since I purchased it. And I had it out in my garden by a sprinkler head. It was doing great. It's gotten a little hotter now and it needed some pruning. So that's what I'll be working on while I'm talking to you. So don't mind me working. I figured it'd be a great time to take advantage of being out here and um, while I'm working, talking about potting soil. The biggest question I get is what brand of potting soil do I use? Now, many of you already know what my answer is going to be to this question because you watch my videos and you know I'm a very simple person. I like to keep things as simple as possible when it comes to gardening and all that. My favorite brand of potting soil? I don't have a favorite brand of potting soil. Um, I use whatever's on sale. Honestly, I do. And not for the faint of heart. I even use bags of topsoil. Honestly, I do. And I know some of you are like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I do. My plants don't mind. The way I look at it is like some people wear designer clothes and some people buy designer potting soil. Maybe a bad analogy. Anyway, you get where I'm going with this. Um, my plants are happy with it. I'm happy with it. They're thriving. I have hundreds of plants. They're doing well. So it works for me. Not saying that it's what everyone should be doing and not knocking those people who use the, the I always call it designer potting soil. The way I look at it is you do what you're comfortable with. You do what works for you. And I believe in doing that wholeheartedly. If it needs well draining soil, I add lots of perlite. If it doesn't, I add less perlite. Um, depending on the basic needs of the plant. Now with my philodendron, I do like to add some orchid, orchid bark chips in there as well. Now to understand why I do things the way I do, I've lived in several different countries and I've seen things done different ways. In a lot of those countries, I've seen people do full-fledged gardens. They go out, they buy, they have a plant, they dig a hole, they stick that plant in that hole and it thrives. When it comes to house plants, go out in the yard, dig up some soil, put it in a, in a pot, slap that plant in there, and it thrives. It's just that basic. I like to just keep it simple, and that's my take on potting soil. Now, the one of the big differences between the higher-end potting soils and the soils that I use uh, is nutrients. Now, the higher-end potting soils have nutrients added into them, and that's definitely a good thing for your plants. But the way I look at it is I do fertilize my plants anyway, so I'm adding nutrients. So that, that's why I use the soils that I use and that's what works for me. So that answers that question. When it comes to what kind of soil I use, I don't know until I get in the store and see the prices. <sighs> now, do I reuse soil when I repot plants or when I buy plants? And that, that my answer to that is it depends if I look at a plant and I check out the soil and it looks like it's pretty fresh soil and it looks like a good quality soil, heck yeah, I reuse that stuff. If it does not appear to be good quality, then I will go ahead and toss it. I am a repotter as soon as I buy my plants and I know that there's you know pros and cons with that. A lot of people don't believe in repotting when they first buy plants. I used to not repot, but when I started was I bought some plants. I bought a couple of plants and I paid a lot of money for these plants and I did not repot. 
and all of a sudden my plant was dying. I couldn't get this these plants, there were two of them, I could not get them to thrive for anything and eventually I lost one of them. So when it died, I pulled it out of the pot and I realized this plant has no roots. So pulled out the other one, it had no roots either. So now I always like to pull my plant out of the pot check the roots, make sure it has roots, make sure they look like healthy, thriving roots. And I also like to check the soil, make sure that there are no pests and things like that in there. If all is well, I may or may not repot the plant. I may pop it in another pot. I may not disturb the soil at all, or I may just put it back in that grow pot and then slap that in a decorative pot. But most times in order to really get a good look at those roots, I do totally repot my plants. I have hundreds of plants between my garden, my patio, and indoors, my house plants. I have hundreds of plants. I could go broke on potting soil alone, but I do understand that there are some risk involved in reusing soil. I'm gonna show you my process for making sure that there's no pest in the soil and making sure that it's okay to reuse. Um, because you do run a risk reusing soil. So this is what I do to minimize that risk. The first thing I do is determine if the soil is even worth saving. If the plant has been ill or anything, I won't reuse it. Then I inspect the soil to make sure I don't see any evidence of pest. You'll also want to make sure that there's no unusual smell. If everything appears to be okay, then I will reuse this soil. The first thing I'll do is pour the soil into a container and add any additives like perlite, um, bark chips. The reason I do this step now is because I keep my bark chips and things outside. And in case there's any nets or anything like that in there, I want to take care of them at the same time as I treat my soil. Once I have everything mixed and have it, the soil the way I want it, I will take it inside and pop it into the microwave. Yes, I put it in the microwave. Now, I heat mine on high for five minutes. This may be considered by some to be a bit ex excessive, but it gets the job done. I do this so that it can kill off any bugs that are in there, their eggs, as well as any viruses or bacteria that's in there. After five minutes, I take it out but you need to be very, very careful when you do this because the soil is very hot and will remain hot for quite some time. So don't stick your hand in this soil. I like to pour mine in this big uh, metal bowl and spread it out as much as possible and just kind of agitate it so that it can cool off just a little faster, but it will take quite a bit of time to cool. You can see all the steam coming off of it here. And be sure not to put your face over the bowl either. At this point, once it's cool, I'll go ahead and add my systemic as well. Of course, this is optional and it's just what I do. All of this, I'm just showing you what I do. Um, I add this now so that anything I plant in this soil has uh, the soil has already been treated so I know it's ready to go and I don't have to do anything further to the plant once I pot it up. A systemic is basically an insecticide that is absorbed in the plant through the roots and therefore when the bugs in any pest eat on your plant they will die. And now the soil is ready to be reused. I have never had any problem using soil that I have treated in this manner. But it is imperative that you let it cool thoroughly, otherwise it will burn the roots of your plant. And don't forget to sanitize your microwave. So that's about it on my take on all things potting soil. I hope this uh, answered your questions and maybe even gave you some information that you will find useful that you can incorporate into your plant growing. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was nice having you along out here at the potting bench. This is what the Alocasia Hilo looks like now that she's pretty much pruned. Um, I think I'm going to repot her, but I'm not it's sure. great having you along. I'll see you next time. Take care and stay well. Bye-bye.